these are the ingredients that I am going to be using to make my mukbang chicken. And I will say what uh, it, in the bio, what of what I would use. And I'm going to put it all in this bag. It's going to be like a shake and bake. And you'll see. I'm putting in a half a tablespoon of the... Ooh, is it going in the bag? Half a tablespoon of the roasted garlic. An herb by Weber. Weber, Weber. Putting a half a tablespoon of garlic salt. Um, one fourth tablespoon of regular natural sea salt. Two, well, one tablespoon, full tablespoon of the kicking chicken. Got the kicking chicken season. Chicken chicken by Weber, Weber, don't fall down. Then I'm using the Southern Blend poultry seasoning, a half a cup of that, I mean a half a teaspoon of that, a half a teaspoon of the onion powder, okay. One full, a half, no, let's do a half of turmeric, half a tablespoon. All this is a tablespoon or a whole half. And a tablespoon of paprika. And that's half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon cornstarch. Now this is only for eight pieces of chicken. Remember I cut it? So we're going to coat it. We're going to do a shake and bake in here. Just coat it. Coat it evenly. Okay, now we're going to use almond flour and a little bit of organic oat flour um, to make it a little more uh, keto, paleo friendly. So we're going to put that in here as well. So we're going to do one fourth, one fourth cup of the oat. And we're doing of the almond flour, one cup. Then we're going to do the baking powder, one half tablespoon. And then we're also going to add some lemon pepper, just a few shakes. We're going to shake this up now. Toasted chicken. Toasted chicken. Toasted chicken. Okay. Now we want to give it a little crunch. So we're going to do one egg. And one fourth cup of almond milk. Okay. 
and one fourth cup of water. Okay, I use unsweetened almond milk. Unsweetened. We're going to turn on this fire. I use canola oil and a little bit of avocado oil. I don't have a deep fry, so I don't do a lot of frying, frying, frying. I used to have an air fryer, but when I moved, it kind of like moved away too. Okay, so you see how the chicken is coated? Then we're going to just pour this in there. And we're going to finish doing our second bake. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Okay. I need to clear off, clean off the counter a little bit. I don't like a messy counter. I don't like a messy nothing. Because you're going to get ready to fry up this chicken. Don't put up our stuff. I'm also making a seafood ball. That's another video. Getting ready, getting ready. And I'll fry it up and then we'll come back.
This is the chicken. We're going to taste it when it cool off. Now we're going to chomp, chomp. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cooked all the way through. It's still hot. <laughs> See that sting? I just really couldn't wait. I had to smell so good. And this is for eight pieces. I split the wings in half. I'm telling you, this batter is kicking. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's a little more nutritious than using the regular flour. I use almond flour and a little bit of oat flour. But you should know how to measure based on how many pieces of chicken you um I cook them. This was for eight pieces. That ingredient with that ingredient entail. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm telling you. Better than KFC. You and me. Thank you.